of the largest recreational places in Philippines. Opened back in 1991 and spread across a huge area of around 380,000 square feet, this park flaunts an alluring theme deco and features around 30 rides and attractions. The park offers both outdoor and indoor games, with important attractions being animal robotics, zipline ride, walk on water, for D theater, and snow world. 25 San Sebastian Church Opened back in 1891, San Sebastian Church is a charming Roman Catholic church, flaunting a Gothic revival architectural design. Made completely of steel, the church is a part of an avenue that is home to a seminary, a courtyard, and an educational institute as well. Originally made of wood, this shrine had unfortunately sustained a fire mishap, after which it was rebuilt by Gustav Eiffel, who made it sturdier and resistant to natural calamities. Counted among the most beautiful places in the Philippines, San Sebastian Church has retained its stunning original interiors, including decorative paintings, metal doors, wall ceilings, and glass windows. 26 Intramuros Constructed by the colonial Spanish or more specifically by Miguel López de Legazpi back in 1571, Intramuros is nicknamed as the Walled City. This entire place is encompassed by towering sturdy walls, with some being as tall as 6 meters. Constructed as a defense building with the aim of safeguarding the city against foreign invasions, this stone citadel has survived a huge number of wars and natural calamities. Spread across an area of around 64 hectares on the south bank of River Pasig, Intramuros was announced to be a historical monument back in 1951. 27 Manila Cathedral Situated in Intramuros and originally constructed back in 1571, Manila Cathedral is considered to be Manila's main Roman Catholic Church. Also referred to as Metropolitan Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, this cathedral is the abode of the Archbishop of the Archdiocese of Manila. Having sustained a number of invasions and natural calamities for over 400 years, the present-day Manila Cathedral was built in 1958. Exhibiting an awe-inspiring neo-Romanesque architectural design, Manila Cathedral is one of the favorite places to visit in Philippines among architecture fanatics. 28. Paco Park Situated in the area that once served as the city's municipal cemetery and formerly known as Cementerio General de Dilao, Paco Park is one of the greenest places to visit in Philippines. Constructed by the Dominicians during the Spanish colonial period for burying the bodies of the Spanish aristocrats, this place sheltered the Asian casualties during the cholera epidemic in the 18th century. At the present day, Paco Park serves as a historical site and hotbed for private parties and events. The park also houses unmarked graves and a Roman Catholic chapel dedicated to St. Pancratius. Paco Park also hosts photo shoots, musical concerts, and band performances for the entertainment of the visitors. 29 Hinagdanan Cave Featuring flying bats, spikes hanging from the roof, and deep waters, Hinagdanan Cave apparently appears as one of the spookiest Philippines places to visit. However, this cave is fun to explore and enjoy a refreshing swim in its cool dark waters. There are some holes in the cave ceiling that let in some light and offer excellent photography opportunities. Having once served as a hideout for the residents from the Japanese Imperial Army, Hinagdanan Cave also features some historical significance in regards to the Second World War. 30 Tarsier Conservation Area Spread across an woodland area of 6 hectares and home to the protected and endangered Tarsier, the Tarsier Conservation Area is one of the most favorite places to visit in Philippines among wildlife.